What's going on YouTube? So a couple of weeks ago, my Supra suddenly started overheating. My coolant reservoir with the overflow spilling coolant onto the engine bay and the ground. I tried to burp its cooling system, but air bubbles will not stop coming up and coolant will sometimes randomly spew out of the radiator. So I figured that after four years, my 7M has most likely blown its head gasket. And so I went ahead and started removing the head and everything else that's in the way. Here's what I found after looking at the old cylinder head. Corrosion is found around the exhaust side uh, cooling ports. Coolant port at uh, cylinder head number five is especially worn and very close to the combustion chamber. And by looking at the head gasket, it looks like combustion gases have been escaping into the coolant port past the ceiling ring. Now as far as the corrosion on my old cylinder head, I'm not sure how, uh, uh, how this problem uh, came about. Uh, when I bought this car over four years ago, I had replaced the coolant and I was using a 50-50 mix of a Toyota Red. So uh, it's supposed to be a good product for this uh, engine and uh, it's uh, what I use exclusively for the past four years and I did, I do remember doing a change every uh, two years uh, on the coolant, you know, flushing it out and replacing it with a uh, new mix of uh, Toyota Red. Now I've run out of the uh, Toyota Red coolant, so after the cylinder head goes back on the engine, I'll be using a different brand of coolant. I picked this up at my local O'Reilly's and uh, it's made for Asian vehicles. So I'll be using this and uh, hopefully it works out. I'll be keeping an eye on it and probably use test strips to check the uh, pH of the uh, coolant every now and then. I had a spare head and uh, unfortunately it had the same issues as my old head. As you can see, it's also got corrosion uh, around the exhaust side uh, coolant ports. It's not as bad, but um, when I overlaid my new gasket on it, it's uh, I'd rather not have uh, to deal with this thing in the future. So what I did was I went ahead and uh, started looking for another cylinder head. And fortunately, I found one at my local pickup art. It came off a uh, 1991 uh, Toyota Cressida and the cylinder head ports, uh, coolant ports, really look good. So I ended up using that. The cylinder head was installed with an OEM head gasket from Toyota and ARP studs and nuts were used instead of the OEM head bolts. Torquing down the head nuts were done in three passes with a final torque of 75 foot-pounds. So after everything was assembled, here's what it sounds like. This is cold start and uh, engine is pretty smooth, really quiet, no ticking or anything like that. AFR 
cars are around uh, 15 or uh, 14, 9, 14, 8, 14, 7. But yeah, cylinder head uh, worked out pretty good. Like I said, it's really quiet, really smooth. 